Hello everybody, Sir Cadia here again to introduce Eternal Return's 70th character, Subame, on this new episode of Lumiapedia. Subame is a trained assassin that uses a big kunai and shuriken to engage in long-ranged, breathtaking battles. Her ideal playstyle is using her kunai to mark enemies and deal great instantaneous damage. To then take advantage of her swift moves to get out of there, she ultimately does her best when she's focusing on a single target. So now, let's take a look at her skills. Subami's kit consists of her Q, Shuriken Deployment, W, Whirlwind, E, The Art of Camouflage, R, Life and Death Seal, and finally, her passive, Higuruma Elimination. Tsubame's passive is Higuruma Elimination. Tsubame's basic attack range is fixed, but she cannot critically strike with her basic attacks. But instead, her attack power increases based on her critical strike chance and her critical strike damage increase. Switching Technique When Tsubame uses the Art of Camouflage and Life and Death Seal, she leaves a wooden log at her location. Tsubame's passive initial effect helps her amplify her skill damage through her high attack power compared to other characters. On top of that, the wooden log she leaves behind when she uses her switching technique is very important since she can give it a good use, as you'll see later with her R skill. Tsubame's Q is Shuriken Deployment. Tsubame throws three Shuriken to the targeted location. The Shuriken spin when they reach the end of their path, dealing skill damage and slowing enemies hit. Marked enemy targets take an additional stack. This skill will be helpful to deal damage to enemies in open spaces and slow them, and it will also help you to stack up and activate your R skill. Also, it won't hurt that the skill's short cooldown will be useful to keep her enemies in check. Tsubame's W is Whirlwind. Tsubame moves faster with a simple step. Her movement speed increases at first and then gradually decreases. Her next basic attack speed is increased. This skill is perfect for avoiding chases and threatening attacks, especially when she's using her shuriken, because it momentarily increases her movement speed, giving her some time to escape. Her next skill is E, the Art of Camouflage. Passive, the cooldown of switching technique is reduced. Tsubame spins in the targeted direction, becoming invisible and untargetable while spinning. Using Whirlwind while invisible from the Art of Camouflage will activate the skill without breaking invisibility. Tsubame's attack range in a fight can be quite limited, but this skill makes up for it by making her both untargetable and invisible. On top of that, the skill's passive effect drops a wooden log, which can be connected to her Life and Death Seal skill to further avoid enemy attacks. Finally, her R skill is Life and Death Seal. Passive. Enemies hit with basic attacks are marked and take up to 3 stacks. Tsubame gains vision of the target at max stacks within range. Tsubame then moves quickly to her enemy and slashes through their marks, dealing skill damage and healing for a portion of the damage dealt. Dealing damage to enemies with this skill reduces the cooldown of Whirlwind and switching technique, and awakens her Engraved Battle Sense. Engraved Battle Sense can stack up to 3 times, increasing the damage of Life and Death Seal per stack. Tsubame can also use Life and Death Seal when she leaves a wooden log with her switching technique to quickly move to the location of the log and swap places. This skill only gets activated at max stacks, but once it does, it'll deal a ton of damage to her targets in a short period of time. If used aggressively, it can also reduce W's cooldown, so it's good for quick counterattacks against threatening enemies, and it can help you escape from dangerous situations when you use it with switching techniques wood log. Eternal Return's 70th character, Tsubame, has swift moves and is good at sneaking on enemies and leaving them breathless. She still has to take the risk of fighting enemies up close, but fortunately, she's got some good skills under her sleeve that can get her out from threatening situations and even help overpower her enemies. What are you waiting for? Take the time to learn this assassin's moves and engage in thrilling fights around the island. Well guys, that was everything for today. Once again, this was Circadia, and I'll see y'all next time on Lumiapedia.